godlike and warlike and strong like only some show and they're had like and mad like and sad like we know people who are in jails and prisons in the United States are not only the people who are going to bear the highest cost of environmental injustice, degradation, of horrible projects like the lecture prison, but they're also the people with the most to offer. People who have been inside are the best organizers and the best lawyers that I know, hands down. Amazing. And so when we think about that, this is a struggle with which the voices of the people who have the most at stake need to be constantly elevated. And the voices of the people who have the most at stake need to be free to speak, which means that people like Leonard Peltier, who can talk about the very foundations of the intersections between native rights, environmental rights, and criminal justice, and unequal protection of law, need to be out from behind prison bars, because those are the people who should be leading our movements. Mm -hmm. By their lives be they spirit, and by their eyes be they opened. You know, obviously, um, you know, we talk about climate change and global warming. You know, a lot of times people think of these things and don't make the connection that this has something to do with the system that we are, you know, living under. You know, the burning of fossil fuels and whatnot, that, you know, this total disregard for human life and whatnot, all this ties in together into the mass incarceration, because it's really about a uh, disregard for humanity, basically. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you know, people who are... You know, this call is originating from an Ohio correctional facility and may be recorded and monitored. He say slowly brings the least shock. But no matter how slow I walk, there are traces, empty spaces, and doors and doors of love. I was in about three and a half, a little over three and a half years at FCI Victorville Medium 2, which is just at a outside of Adelanto, California. It's a whole complex, actually, it's all built on a super fun site, which is an old military dump. You can look across the street from the yard and see a whole housing complex completely abandoned because of the toxicity. The dust clouds that go up there, they're unescapable. The water, everyone knows is toxic, but it's just the water that you got to drink and bathe in and have your food prepared in. When I got out, I was lucky, lucky enough to have a friend who did like a blood analysis on me and my copper was like through the roof. It was like 40 times higher than what it should have been and like had to detox from that with a very specific regimen for about nine months to be able to get it back down. By their hearts be they women and by their hands be they whole. When you talk about toxic prisons, it's not only in a um, abstract sense. We have a brother, one of the Move Nine, Mike Africa, who is incarcerated at the State Correctional Institute at Greaterford in Pennsylvania. We've been working with Mike for months now because the water at Greaterford that comes through their pipes, it stinks. You can not only smell it when you put it up to your nose to try to drink it, but the men who shower in the water come out of the shower with the stench from the water on them. The prison guards are told do not drink the water. They have filters on water in the guards' dining but not. For the end. You young ones, you're the next ones, and I hope you choose it well. Though you try hard, you may fall prey to the jaded jewel. Everyone in prison knows that things are messed up mm -hmm. on the environmental level. Not just like, yeah, everyone knows the water. I mean, that prison water is so. No matter where you are, it's bad. Even if it's not toxic, it's bad. It's milky sometimes. It is always warm. It's disgusting. But everyone gets it. All you have to do is look it up and you find, oh yeah, this used to be like an old growth forest. This was a native forest. 
And at a certain point, you know, the, the progression of environmental destruction is always like, oh, I want to put my ORV in there. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, mining. And then it's just, it's progression. Logging, then, or thinning, then logging, then, then they clear cut it. And what are you going to do after a clear cut? I mean, there's literally nothing to do on, on like a dead piece of land. Let's build a prison. That is like the new final stage. I mean, I don't know what's worse than a prison on that, but, you know, we create a super fun site and then we're just going to build a prison across the street because we know that those people can't say a damn thing. There's nothing, like Eric said, you're going to drink the water. There are waters hidden from us in the maze. We'll find them still. We'll take you to them. You take your young ones. May they take their own and still and why our lives be we spirit and by our eyes be we